Okay, so the first step to navigating your fretboard, um, understanding scales, building chords, expanding your creativity as a musician, and learning enough theory to have a solid working knowledge of what's going on in the music that you play and listen to, or to become some kind of theory wizard all begins here. It starts with learning where the notes are on the neck to your guitar. It's a lot easier than anyone thinks that it is, uh, and I have a process that takes you down several different paths so that you can get all these notes digested in a quick amount of time and begin acquiring all the rest of this knowledge. But this is like uh, building a house. You've got to build that the slab first. There's nothing sexy about learning this, uh, but it is something that's required if you want to move forward uh, to having a really good understanding of everything else. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, we're going to begin this with explaining a couple of basic intervals that you need to know that you help digest all this information. Uh, one is a whole step, and that is going to be uh, the distance of two frets. So an interval is the distance between two notes. So the first interval we're working with is a whole step. That would be, for example, one to three on your E string. Or if you're dealing with an open E string, it's going to be or any open string open to two. That's your whole step. It stays the same all over the neck. For three to five on your D string, that's a whole step. You get two frets diff distance. Okay, the next is a half step. The distance of one fret. One to two or open to one. Okay, now that we know our intervals of whole step and a half step, uh, we have two groups of notes that are always half step apart. Uh, first group is going to be B and C. That's the second and third fret of your A string. So B, C, and then E and F. That's second and third fret of your D string. You'll also notice that just basically everywhere we cover B, C, and E, and F, they're stacked right on top of each other, one string on, on top of the next. So we've got our B, B and C on A here, two and three, E and F on two and three of D. We move up to seven and eight on our E string, there's B and C. And then seven and eight on our A string, there's E and F. to 9 of our D, 10 of our D, there's B and C, and then 9 and 10 of our G string, also E and F. And then 4 and 5 of our G string are B and C. five and six are E and F. We have to move up a half step for notes when we move over to the B string. All the strings on the guitar are tuned a fourth apart, but G to B is tuned a third apart, so that causes the shift uh, there. And then here on 12 and 13 of B, we have B and C. In 12 and 13 of high E, we have E and F. And then E and F are on the low E string as well at 12 and 13. That's a good thing about having two E strings, two strings tuned to E. Low E and high E, the notes are the same all the way up the neck for both of these strings. So that knocks out a good little chunk of your learning there as far as digesting the notes. Okay, so now that we know our notes that are a half step apart, everybody else is a whole step apart. So let's start breaking that down uh, one string at a time. We're going to start with your A string because you know, we're working with a musical alphabet and when you're working with the alphabet on learning on the neck, 
you start down here, you move your way up, and wherever your starting point is, you're just going to work your way up in the alphabet from there. So begin with A, our open A string. We've got a whole step, and we go to B at two, C at three, D is at five. E is at seven, F is at eight, G is at 10, and then we're back to A at 12. And that's something else that I want to point out now. Uh, when we get to the 12th fret, that's the same as all your open strings. So the neck resets itself right there. Basically, everything's just an octave higher. So we're just going to focus on this section of the neck. For the time being we can work on digesting that later uh it'll all start to fall into place but you just really want to focus on this area of the neck to begin with okay now that we've covered the a string we're going to move on and we're going to skip over to the g string uh, the reason i'm doing that is well we started with a for one that's your natural starting point we go to g now because we've got open g and then we're right back at a so that feels as, as probably as most natural at least in my opinion uh, to working on the alphabet and learning where these notes are. So we've got an open G string. G to A is a whole step. So A is going to be at two. B is at four. C is at five. D is at seven. E is at nine. F is at 10. And we're back to G at 12. Okay, now moving on to your B string. We have open B. First fret is C. Remember, those are a half step apart. Three is D. We have five E. Six F. Eight G. Ten A and back to B at 12. Okay, now moving on to the D string, we have open D, whole step up to E, at two, three is F, five is G, seven A, nine B, 10C, and back to D at 12. Okay, now let's move on to our E strings. We're gonna start with low E first. So we have open E, F, a half step, three, and that's at one, three G, five A, seven B, 8C, 10D, and 12E. Move the high E, move the open E, 1 is F, 3 is G, 5 is A, 7B, 8C, 10D, and 12E. You can also work through those at the same time. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and E. Save yourself a little time. You can work on them one at a time. Just, you know, whatever works for you. Okay, next we're going to work on finding your octave note on strings here we're going to start with your low e string what i mean by octave notes so if we were to play the f major scale f when you come back to f which is right here that's considered your octave note so we have f g a b flat c d e and up back to f so to find the octave quickly without playing through any kind of scale patterns you skip a string so if we got F here, we're going to skip A, and we're going to move up a whole step to D at 3. So there's F on both of those strings. 
then we move up to three on E and five on D, and we have G. Five E and seven D is A. Seven E and nine D is B. Eight E and ten D is C. Ten E and twelve D is D. And then we finish it off right here at 12. That's E. And then 14D is E. And we can wrap it up here. Just bring it all the way back to F to kind of resolve what you started from up there. So you've got 13E and 15D. It's F. So. Just play through those, call them out, call them out loud, call them out just in your brain while you're playing it, think it through, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Now moving on to your A string, we're going to start at 2A at the B note, so 2A is B, 4G, Skipping the D string and going to the fourth fret on your G is B. So B at two and four, C at three and five, D at five and seven, E at seven and nine, F at eight and ten, G at ten and twelve, and then A. 12 and 14 and back to B at 14 and 16. Okay, now moving to your D string. We're going to be skipping G and going to B. Changes up just a little bit here and reason being again is your B strings tuned to a third which everything moves up by a half step there with that. So we're going to start with, we'll start with E right there at 2D. And then you're going to move up a step and a half. So it's going to be that kind of distance to get your octave note there. So again, we start on D, we skip G, and we move up a whole step and then a half step, step and a half to get to our octave note. So we have E at 2 and 5, F at 3 and 6, G at 5 and 8. A at 7 and 10, B at 9 and 12, C at 10 and 13, D at 12 and 15, and then E at 14 and 17. I know I kind of broke a rule going over to 12th fret here, but it just makes sense to move past the 12th when you're working with these octaves because everything's shifting up. Um, that's the only reason I'm doing that right now. But the, again, the main focus, just make sure that you learn these and the rest of that will fall in the line shortly after that. Okay, next we're going to go with the one note at a time method. We're going to begin with E. And so what we're going to do is play all the E notes all the way up the neck up to the, the area of the 12th fret. So we're obviously going to start with our open E strings. So just say to yourself, you don't have to call out every single one while you're doing it. You can if you want to, but just whatever works for you basically. But you just say, I'm getting ready to play all the E notes on the neck. And just think about that while you're working up through the strings here. So we've got E here, E at 2D, E at 5B, E at 7A, E at 9G, and E at the 12th fret. Again, that's You'll develop a process the more you do this on your own. That's kind of how I flow through the notes. We're going to work through all of them here. But you'll develop a process on your own if you like working with one note at a time. That works for you. Okay, so now we're going to move on to F. Got F at 1, 
F at 3D, F at 6B, F at 8A, F at 10G, and then F at 13. All right, and now we have G. So we can go with an open G string. Three on E, five D, eight B, ten A, and then back to twelve G. Right, now we're going to work on our A notes. So uh, you can pick the open A string if you'd like. And we've got two G. Five E, seven D, ten B, twelve A. Okay, now we're going to move to our B's. You've got your open B string, two A, four G. 7E, 9D, 12B. Okay, now we're going to move on to the C's. Got 1B, 3A, 5G, 8 on E, 10D, and 13 on B. Right now we're gonna work through our Ds. The open D, 5A, 5 now we're gonna work on our Ds. We have open D, 3B, 5A, 7G, 10E, 12D. Okay, this next process uh, for learning the notes on the neck is we're going to take the natural minor scale and play it starting with the root note in A. So we've got all natural notes there. So we're just going to be going from A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and then we'll start over. Um, so we're going to start here on the fifth fret of your E string so with A here, 7B, 8C, and we're going to drop down to the A string. We've got 5D, 7E, 8F, and then we have G at 5D. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now keep in mind that we can come back to thinking about octaves. You've got A here on the fifth fret of your E string. You've got A here. And you've also, you know that if you're on G here at 5D, you move up a whole step, you're going to be back at A. So either way you want to think about that and visualize things will be good. And bring that up with your first finger because we're going to start a whole new pattern over. Um, so we're going to be 7D, which is A, 9B, 10C. Then we're going to drop down to G, 7D, 9E, 10F. And then we're going to have G at 8 on B. And then we'll be back at A at 10B. So, so far we have B, C, D, E, F, G, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then back to A. So we've covered a pretty good chunk of the neck right there, just playing the A natural minor scale up two octaves. So now we're going to start at 10B. A, 12B, 13C. 10E is D, 12E, 13F on the E string. So we, we're just moving through F right there. 
But again, it's just saying your alphabet. It's something you've been doing since you were probably two, three years old. You move all the way up the neck. So that's the largest chunk of, of area there. We're using a natural minor scale now. We can come back and we're going to go in open position. We have open A string. Two A is B, three is C. Then we're going to go open D. Two E, three F, open G, two A. So. Okay. And one more for A natural minor. We're going to start at 2G, A, B, C. So that's 2, 4, 5 on G is A, B, C. Then we're going to move to the B string and we're going to be 3, 5, 6 for D, E, F. And then we're going to have 3E for G and then 5E back to A. Okay, well that covers the processes of learning the notes on the neck. Uh, you can follow along with the PDF guide as well. I've laid the video out in the same order as I put everything down in the PDF. And feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Uh, you can reach me at bradwardguitar at gmail.com.